Hello there, and welcome to this week's episode of Mondays with Matthew. Today, I wanted to take on the subject of mortgage forbearance, the pros and cons, and whether it will help or possibly hurt the US housing market. And by now, regular viewers will know that I like to set some groundwork for my comments. So let's start out with a little history. Mortgage forbearance is a relief program that was announced by the Federal Housing Finance Authority in response to COVID-19 and the likelihood that if a significant percentage of businesses countrywide shut down, albeit temporarily, well, it could create a tsunami of job losses that in turn could lead many homeowners to start to struggle with their mortgage payments. And the decision to start this program was very timely, uh, given the fact over the last six weeks, over 30 million workers have lost their jobs and the ownership housing market is certainly being impacted. Now, for those of you not familiar with the forbearance program, let me explain. It allows homeowners in financial distress due to COVID-19 to stop temporarily making mortgage payments until such times as they return to work. Now, this is a list of the major provisions of the program. Obviously, the first thing for any homeowner to do would be to contact their service provider. They can't just arbitrarily stop making mortgage payments. Once they've entered the program, foreclosures and evictions are suspended. Payments can be postponed for up to a year. Non-payment will not be reported to the credit agencies. There will be no late fees. And at the end of the forbearance term, the servicer must work with the homeowner and offer options to get them caught up with the missed payments. Now, here are the repayment options currently available. But I must tell you that they do vary between agencies. First, they can cut a check for all the missed payments. Alternatively, additional funds can be added to their normal monthly payment and they can catch up over a period of time. Another option is to add the missed payments onto the back end of the loan or the last option would be to go through a loan modification where the payments are lowered and the term extended further into the future. So this all sounds great, right? Well, not so fast. Over the past few weeks, I've heard several horror stories where homeowners have contacted their mortgage servicer just to be told that if they entered the program, all missed payments would become immediately due when the forbearance period ends. Well, clearly this made the program useless for almost everyone. At this point, I have to make one thing very clear. Anyone who has a loan guaranteed by Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, the FHA, the VA, or even the USDA does not have to make a lump sum payment at the end of the forbearance period. In fact, the misinformation that's been going out uh, all over the place by some mortgage services, it was so bad that just last week, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac put out separate notes confirming that balloon payments were not required. Forbearance offered by agencies can help a lot of homeowners. How many? Well, about 62% of all residential mortgages are owned or guaranteed by them, but it doesn't help everyone. Now, how many ho households are we talking about and how many are already in forbearance? Well, as you can see, just shy of 6.5% of all residential mortgages are already in forbearance. That means that around 3.4 million homeowners have already started delaying payments. And as you'll also see, non-agency mortgages in forbearance, well, there's about 740,000 of those loans. Now, a concern that has become apparent uh, is that mortgage services of both federally guaranteed and non-guaranteed mortgages are still obliged to make payments to the bondholder, even if the homeowner is in forbearance and not making payments. Uh, and this is problematic. Now, because of this, services are very concerned, all of them, uh, about their own liquidity levels and whether they might actually run out of money before the homeowner is able to make up the missed payments. The government obviously is aware of this. 
and recently announced that services at least of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac backed mortgages, while they need only make four months of payments, after which Fannie and Freddie will make the balance of payments for the duration of the forbearance period to the bondholders themselves. But that doesn't help non-agency backed mortgages where the forbearance options are not so favorable. The Consumer Finance Protection Bureau, various other financial regulators, and many state authorities, well, they know about this and they're encouraging financial institutions to work with those borrowers when it comes to making up missed payments. But all they can do is offer encouragement. They cannot force mortgage companies to offer the same options as their agency counterparts. As these services are not required to offer reasonable terms to borrowers, and because of their own cash flow concerns, some are doing their best to make it hard for the homeowner, and they're doing so by pushing for balloon payments at the end of the forbearance period. Well, I certainly hope that these mortgage services find a way to offer options other than balloon payments, because I fear if they do not, well, we could certainly see an increase in foreclosures as homeowners will be left with very few options. Forbearance is intended for those who truly need it. And for a lot of households in these troubled times, it can be a great option. The program has the ability to limit the number of homes that without forbearance might have been forced into foreclosure, which could easily destabilize the US housing market. But I do urge all homeowners who are thinking about using this program, read the fine print. It may not be as good an option as you might think, especially if you're forced into making a lump sum payment at the end of the forbearance period. Well, of course, I hope you found today's comments of interest. As always, if you have any questions or thoughts about this topic, I would love to hear from you. Please feel free to drop me a note. Take care out there, and I look forward to visiting with you again next week.